Get yours going? I do. All right, we're live. Let's uh, wait for everybody to make sure that, uh, we gotta make sure that you can see us and hear us okay. Got your volume down? I do. You got an ad going? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the ad, the, the, the channel makes more money. <laughs> everybody, how you doing? Happy Sunday night to you. Look who I got here, Scott Argett Singer from Green Weaver. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yes, That's sir. Crowd favorite right here. Wow, well, you know, I try. Yeah, you, you don't have to try. People <laughs> just love you. Well, we try. You know. We are, uh, we're just getting fired up right now. We got our phones coming on so that we can uh, see the comments as they come in. So if you'll bear with me for just a moment while I get that going. I mean, literally, we just sat down here in the last 15 minutes, got everything organized and ready to go. And uh, we're kind of running by the seat of our pants right now, but... Well, I got an ad going now, too. Oh, there you go. See? I know. You should click on it. Make some more money. I, I should <laughs> click on it. All right. Steve Steele's here. Brian Waters. Uh, Broke Sportsman. BS nice. Outdoors. That's nice. a good name. I like that. I do, too. Okay. Thanks for the thumbs up there, BS Sportsman. Um, thanks for the thumbs up from everybody that's coming in. Can you uh, let us know if you can see us and hear us okay Please, we got microphones going. Patrick Johan is here from GRC Trolling Products. Patrick, I got some of your things to show, and we have another guest tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to come up and say hello also. This is the shop cat. I think her name is Sparkles. Okay. But I All call right. her White Claw. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. Man. There you go, little one. You can run over there. Okay. Thanks, guys, for the loud and clears. Good, that looks good. good. We can, they can see us, they can hear us okay. All right. All right. Got that going for us. Yeah. We're good. All right. I don't know if seeing us is a good thing. Yeah, probably not. No. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is what we're going to do tonight. Someone just threw a super chat. Who is that? Hugh Merrill. Hugh Merrill. Huey, your dog. Good to see you, bud. Thanks for the super chat. Let's lead in actually right with that right there. If We got a new thing on the channel called the Tangle Tackle Army. It's a membership to the channel. If you want to join the Tangle Tackle Army, just go down in the description of this video. There's a place right there. There's a link. You click on that. You follow the instructions. Boom, you're in. The benefits of the Tangle Tackle Army is the longer you stay a member, the higher up in rank you go. You actually start as a private, corporal, sergeant, master sergeant, and then up to all the, you work your way all the way up to a five-star general. Nice. nice. The longer Ooh, you five stay. Five-star, wow. Five-star Tangle wow. Tackle Army general. They just boss me around. <laughs> um, the benefits of that, though, is I do see your chats on here. They're more prevalent. They come off in a, in a different way, so I see them a little better. There's special emojis that you can use. There's also special polls that I put up for the Tangle Tackle Army, and I'll even put up some private videos for the Army as well. We'll keep doing these. I mean, I'm never going to go away from the yeah, live fishing because yeah, right. I love yep, doing yep. these. But there will be ah, some per another right one. Hey, yeah. thanks, sir. Jason. Jason, Jason C. C. just joined the Tangle Tackle Army. Right. Thanks, Jason. You're private. <laughs> you're, you're low, but you'll build your you'll way build, up. You'll get up there. You will. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, but you're going to get specialized videos from me, maybe Scott as well. Come join me sometimes. Yeah, of course. You'll get the little insider tips and tricks. I'm going to give you still a bunch of stuff just like we're doing right here, but there's always a little something more that we can do. So thank you for everybody for joining that that has and that will in the future. So I wanted to get that out of the way. Oh, I see my wife is on here. Is Mandy on here? Oh, there Mandy she is. is. Hey, yeah. Mandy. Good to see you. Ah, uh, very cool. Um, Nina Crane is here. Brian Peters is here. Jason C. You see Jason C. His name comes up in a little yes, green. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that a little bit easier. That's a great way to do that. That is a good way, yeah. I do like that. It gives me an uh, opportunity to recognize, you know, the army members. Yeah, the, yeah. The uh, the personnel. So, what do you think of the Lions? Huh. Tell you the truth, I don't watch them. <laughs> That's right. I'm, you not, I'm not much you of don't. a sports fan. Yeah, I um, remember that. Motocross is about the only thing I ever used to watch, and I don't watch it anymore just because I miss it. Well, the Lions <laughs> lost day, so that's enough said. I seen it on here. Somebody, <laughs> somebody put on there. You know, Lions, Lions lost. Lions <laughs> lost, but they played their butts off. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm still impressed by the way they look this year. I do have the shirts right here. If you're interested in getting some of these, these are a way to tell the team that you got their back by putting this literally on your back. You just got a little Detroit. That is good. There. Yeah, it looks nice. It does. Thanks, it man. Does. I appreciate yeah. that. Detroit with the lion head, and then it says, I've got your back. If you're interested in grabbing one of those, another Army member just jumped on. Will Spencer jumping nice. on the Tangle Tag Army. Nice. Will, welcome to the Army, buddy. I appreciate it. But if you do want to grab up one of these, 
go down in the description. There's a link to go to the Salmon Fanatics closet. That's where you will find that shirt. This shirt, I gotta show this one too. This is my Going Coho going shirt. Coho. I love that. I do too. Yep, Going Coho. That nice, is a nice, nice looking shirt. That is, I love that. I love the graphics on that thing. You can get that shirt. You can find a bunch of other hilarious stuff on there. You can get your shirt that shows that you survived the pierhead fishing for this year. <laughs> you can get your shirt that says you survived the tippy damn salmon run for oh this boy. year. Yeah, that here is it a, is on fire up there. It is. Yeah, I heard that too. But you can get a lot of stuff like that: stickers, shirts, hoodies, caps, hats, whatever you want. It's all right there. I appreciate anybody that goes on there and takes a look. Again, that link is down in the description. Will Spencer, Jason C. Yeah. Combat fishing time of the year from Jason C. Yeah, well, luckily combat fishing is pretty much over. It's it's over, yeah. So yeah. You, you're rarely going to see people out there now. Yeah. You know how many times I pierhead fished this year? Zero. Once. I never have. Just once. I haven't in probably, geez, seven I, years or better. I will avoid it's it also. A long time. I will avoid it also at all costs. Yeah. Um, Dennis Beyer, how do you become a member? Um, what you do is you go to the go down in the description of this video. Once it's over, I don't know if you can even do it right now, but there's a link right there to join the Army. Join the Army, and you're instantly, and they'll walk you through the process. Pretty easy. All right. How do you do in the Army? Yep, just like that, guys. Just hop in that description. It'll take you right in. You can join up in the Army, yep. and uh, you can progress in the ranks. Nice. Scott, what did you think of the season? That was good. Uh, man, we got a phenomenal year this year. Uh, a lot of lot of fish yeah. that's probably one of the most the, probably the best year we've had in a while yeah felt that way to me i mean too. you know this is getting back to like the early 90s mm -hmm. you know when fishing was phenomenal <clears throat> i think it's just going to continue to be good uh i was out last weekend and the amount of small kings mm -hmm. that we caught last weekend was just unbelievable the two and three year olds out there right now are yeah. the thickest thieves yep and they're and so they're a healthy fun. looking fish they are super and there's a ton super. of bait too yeah. out there Yep, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so I think the same way if I, one to ten, what would you give this season? Ten being, you know, phenomenal, one being what it was ten years I'm, ago. I'm about, you know, probably an eight. Yeah. I mean, it, it is right up there. I'm right there, too. You know, I mean, this is, people are coming in with 20 fish catches. You don't see that. Yep. You haven't seen that in years. No. So you know, every, every once in a while you see it, but not all summer long. I completely agree. This, this guys, gals, if you do me a favor, scale of one to ten. Put in the comments right now, what did you think of this season for you guys in your area? Maybe even put a little bit of information in there on what you saw or what you didn't see uh, to, to back up uh, whatever number that you're doing. But I am the exact same way. Will Spencer saying, got a 29.88 29 pound king. That's um, awesome. I mean, that's, that's a great fish. That's Jay bigger than my biggest this year. Jason C is asking, <laughs> what do we think are gonna the next coming season? I'll talk about that here in just a sec, but I just wanted to go in my thoughts on the season as well. Um, I absolutely agree with Scott. He nailed it. Um, somebody else just joined the Army. Patrick Forrester. Patrick nice. Forrester. Thanks for joining up, Patrick. You're a member, bud. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. Um, compared to what it was 10 years ago, because I look back on tournament fishing 10 years ago. We were really heavy into it. It was then. tough. If you came in with a 17 or an 18-pound king on a tournament, people, were, doing good. people were looking at you like you just <laughs> won the lottery. <laughs> That's what yeah. I remember. And I remember just tons of two pounders, three pounders. Yep. And some days you couldn't even get those going. Um, I almost think they skipped a year class or we missed a year class or something yeah. back in that time period. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have the four year olds either back then. No. And I remember like 2000, maybe 14, when we were getting all those little fish. Yes. You couldn't keep them off the lines. No. And, I and they were to, tiny too. I thought to myself, boy, if we're picking all these little fish out of the litter right now, next year's going to suck. Yes. And it did. And it did, yeah. yeah it really, really did. But yep. yeah, I think this year was, I'm right there with you, eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get to a nine or a 10 out of 10, it right. has to be just bonsai. Yeah. Like back in the 70s and the 80s. Yep. Um, we're not there yet, but boy, we're getting close. Yep. All right, so yeah, um, somebody just asked, I think it was Jason C. wanted to know, what do we think of next season or the following season? What it's going to be phenomenal, I think, for the next probably two or three years. I think yeah. we're going to we're gonna see some really good fishing. Our bait population is better than it's ever been. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's you crazy know, it's, good. It's, it mimics back in, like, the 80s when we had stuff washing up on the shore. I mean, yeah. that, that's been years, you know, since yeah. we've seen this. And, I mean, like I say, the amount of little fish that we're seeing out there, very encouraging. Very encouraging. That's a good word, encouraging. Yeah. 
Um, again, I'm going to mirror exactly what you just said. The bait population was dying off. People were freaking out about it at first. Yep. And you learn a little bit about it, and you see that that's a good that, thing. Yes, that's a good thing. It is a yep. good thing. It means that there's we need more predators. Yes. And so that's what the DNR is doing right now. I can't speak for the Wisconsin DNR. they they got a pretty good stocking program they already. Do. But the Michigan DNR is looking towards, not looking towards, they are. They are going putting to Putting yep. much more stocking out. I know the 49% or 51%. I know the PM's getting a bunch more. Yes. Manistee's getting a bunch yep. more. Um, I can't think, think of Muskegon, I think, is Muskegon, getting a bunch yep. more. Um, and then we're looking around on the other side of the state as well, going to get some stock. Yeah. And that's something that hasn't happened for a long time either. Yeah. I mean, they've been planting them up, up towards, oh, like Alpena and stuff like that. Right. They've been planting a lot of stuff up in there, but... I mean, they haven't planted them in here on for a long time. Yeah. So I'm looking at other people's comments. You know, uh, best year on his boat from Andy Myers saying a 7 to 10. Uh, Jeff and Wendy Miller saying an 8. Lake Ontario was a 7. Um, sorry, Lake Ontario. Right. You guys have had, it so, you guys got you've had it so bad. <laughs> you poor Man. guys and gals over there. I love fishing Lake Ontario. That's unbelievable. I, I had a guy, I don't know, it was a week or two ago, said he was a charter captain over on Lake O. And if I ever had time in the spring, he would take me out. I, like, crawl through the camera saying, yeah. yes, I would love to it go. Is, it is phenomenal. I mean, it every is. time I've ever went over there, I, I think since I've worked at Dreamweaver, I've been over there four times. Yeah. We have numerous pro staff guys over there that are always willing to take you out. And, I would love to go. You know, I mean, there, there are some great people yep. over there. And I'll be retiring here from my, my normal job here this coming winter, so I'm going to have a lot more time to do things like nice. that. Nice. Uh, Shane Trudell. Hi there, kitty cat. Shane Trudell is saying he's another uh, Tangle Tech Army member. Got four kings over 20 pounds in 40 minutes. Wow, Amazing. nice. That's, that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of other people saying Saginaw Bay, eight or nine. Um, Jay Fogarty, good to see you on here, my friend. A lot of other people saying, you know, in the eights and the sevens, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing the next coming years also just fantastic. I think it's yes, going to be really It's going to be very good. Um, Size-wise. Oh, yeah. There's some tackle busters out there this year. <laughs> we we had, uh, and this is no way bragging at all, but uh, we had two 30-pounders in one day this year. Morning trip, we had one. Another one in the evening trip. I think three days later, we had another 30-pounder. Nice. That, to me, that, that sums up the season in a nutshell right there. If you can bring that quality of fish on an almost, you know, in a couple-day basis, oh, yeah. blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. Hey, kitty, kitty. Um, you know, those are wrapped around a bunch of other 28s, yep. 27s, 25. 25s were a normal. Yeah, they were normal this year. Yeah. Yep. If you didn't come to a tournament scale for the 333 <laughs> with like a 70 pound average, you weren't, yeah, you weren't, getting you weren't even getting up there. You weren't getting there. So I think size wise as well, with the amount of fish, the amount of bait fish rather that we're seeing out there, I think it's going to continue yeah. up, up, and up. Yeah. I think next year we're going to see some big fish. Oh, some yeah. of the three year olds I'm seeing. 15, 16, 17 pound oh, three year olds. I, I think uh, it's like, wow. I see records being broken in three years. Yes. Um, maybe four years, but yep. I see I see state records being broken yep. almost handily. Yep. If it continues to go the trend that it's going right now. Yep. I'd love to see that. The amount of 30 pounders you're seeing in the river right now. Oh, it's man, insane. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, insane. There's a bunch of them. So um, we covered what we thought of the fishing. How's the fishing down in your area? Let's talk a little fishing report before we get into tonight's topic. Uh, just a few guys I know that went out of Ludington. Uh, they uh, they got a few. They said they did really good, like midweek, and then we got that big north blow. Yeah. And the guys I talked to that fished this weekend um, had a hard time finding them. They did find some there out in deep water. Yeah. You know, probably you know eight nine miles <clears throat> out. Out in that you know three fifty to. 400 range same same around here we we had pretty much the same thing early in the week um talk some guys were going out when they could get out yeah because it's been dicey. it's been it's been windy all week. i'm gonna throw that out there as well right now we're in september coming into october if you're looking to get out and fish have at it it's good fishing yes but be safety conscious because if you're out there in deep water long way offshore yes things it's not can, the same <laughs> things can get dicey in a yes. nanosecond so make yes. sure you got a plan and make sure somebody knows where you are at all yep. times. Keep your cell phone handy. Keep three or four cell phone handy. <laughs> yeah. And a radio. Good yep. radio, of course. Yep. Good radio, for sure. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, same around here uh, early in the week. 180 to 250, I heard, was really good. Mm -hmm. um, then that north blow came. Finally, the break went from 
like 140 feet down, yes. came up to like 60 feet down, <laughs> thank God. Yeah. And uh, the fishing just went boom, and the uh, guys were hitting like 8 to 10 fish a trip, uh, yeah. 20 bites in the morning. Um, I had four charters over this last weekend. I couldn't run a single one. The, the, really? weather, yeah. the weather, weather just came yeah. in and, and blew us out. So, yeah. But I still think if we can get out, I think there's still good fish. A lot of two, three, two and three-year-old class fish out there. Cohos, I think, are still lurking around out there. And don't be surprised if you still pick up an adult. Yes. Because there's still some out there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think there's still fish to come yet. I think a lot of those fish, the, the adults rather, yep. ran into the river, realized that they were getting sunburned yeah. because the river was about that deep. <laughs> yeah, it was realized, very, very shallow. Realized year. that they were getting a tan and flipped around and came right back out into the lake. Yep. As dark as some of those fish were that yeah. I was seeing. I think a lot of the, a lot of that happened through that area or through that time. So don't be surprised if you pick up another, you know, adult yeah. or two out there. So yeah. Um spoons still around here. Yes. Yeah. All spoons. Yeah, all spoons. You know, I mean a few uh, a few of our new paddles have been working really good for me, but when I went out Saturday of last weekend, I mean it was 125 down the break was. Couldn't really run a whole lot of stuff. I think I ran four divers and two riggers. Yeah. I went out on or that was Friday. Went out on Saturday and the break dropped down to 150 feet. <laughs> yep. I was like, wow. Uh, yeah, that's a pain on the butt, yeah, isn't it? You know, Such a pain on the butt. When you're fishing that deep, you can't run a lot of stuff. You can't. I mean, yep. There, you know, yeah, you want to put out a 600 copper if you want to, but I would, I don't want to reel it in. So, so and plus, you're, 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 you're running the risk of putting your high dive yes. right into that thing. Because, like Scott's saying, when you run a lot of stuff deep, things are going to get tangled. Yes. I usually go two downriggers four divers yep. and they are out like low divers are out like 300 yep. high divers could be out 400 plus yep and i i even hesitate to run any long lines because if those yep. divers get bit they're coming they're right, coming right up into it right up in your and there's boards. nothing you can do about it I oh mean, it's, it's a nightmare you can't reel fast enough to get no, them out of there's it no way. there's no way <laughs> it's just the way it is <laughs> oh somebody just asked a good question jason c wants to know when is the tangle tackle army fishing tournament <laughs> Oh, that would be a good one. That might, we might come up with something yeah, about that. I kind of like right. that. Dakota Joe is here. Good to see you, Joe. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for the year, what do you think? Spoon year, fly year, flash year. What do you think? Mostly fly. Uh, mostly spoons for me. Me too. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of meat bites. Uh, I ran them. You know, mm -hmm. I usually run at least one or one or two a trip. But um, yeah, I bet you my meat bites less than twenty. Yeah. I'm the same way, probably right in that same category. Spoon year for me, for sure, on our boat. It seemed like most other boats that I talked to. Um, Slim's early. Yep. Super Slim's just dominated. And then Slim's kept going really good all the yep. way through August. But, of course, Mag started coming yeah. around. Yeah. Plugs. Our, you know, our bait size was pretty good size yeah. this year. So, I mean, it was. I ran more spoons than plugs uh, for the first time in a long time. Yes. Um, because spoons kept producing and producing and producing. Yep. And plugs did not. No. So, I couldn't get very much plug bites, you know, maybe three trips. Yeah. I think yeah. I got plug bites. Um, I always put them out, at least one out on a board or something. But. Our biggest fish came on all spoons. Yeah. All those 30-pounders came on spoons. So My, my biggest ones all came on rotators. But yeah. They're all on our new, our new paddles. So. It's just because you're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, not by any means. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is what we're going to do. Tonight's topic is end-of-the-year wrap-up. We talked about um, what we thought of the year. What we thought of the class fit or the fish class we talked about what we think is going to come in the next couple of years we're going to talk now about our best stuff for the year and we're going to start off with big paddles i'm going to go first I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with however many you have if i have five spoons i'll count down five to one mm -hmm. and we'll, after i'm done you'll do yours yep we'll go to the next category and then we'll just keep going back and forth sounds good this should be pretty sounds cool good. so big paddles for me can i borrow yours yes, go ahead. because this was a darn good one for me you can't go wrong with the 11-inch Dreamweaver. Yeah, I, I almost forgot to say this. These these live shows are all brought to you by Dreamweaver Lures. Check them out, dreamweaverlures.com. With that being said, this is a Dreamweaver lure product. <laughs> this is. You know what I mean? It's something we haven't, we didn't really sell a lot of them this year because we didn't have them. Yeah, I know. Um, we're Which, actually working on a new one with a flip fin. Um, big paddle? Yes. Ooh, goody. And the ones that we ran because, I mean, we just couldn't get them to go that good yeah so we want to do some more changes it'll probably be later on in the year before we'll get them back out cool. again but um okay. yeah i'm looking forward to that 
But uh, I will tell you right now, you cannot go wrong with 11 inch double pearl. This is the double pearl fish scale or just a straight up double pearl. Can't go wrong with that. That was a great one. Um, this is a new paddle from Beckhold. This is the Mercury Falling Moon Jelly on the back. Pearl on the front with the Moon Jelly Ladder. That's the black blade. I had the white blade going. Why I don't have a white blade is because some fish out there is dragging around <laughs> the three or four that I had. But that thing was fantastic for a lot of both sides talked to, that Mercury Falling. <clears throat> as well as, and I don't know the name of this one, it's another Beckhold. When I lost all my white Mercury Fallings, I went to this one, and this one worked pretty good for me too. It's the blue over green, or if you hold it this way, it's green <laughs> over blue. Right, right. <laughs> with the pearl on the back. So those were my best pa big paddles for the year. What do you got, Scott? My best big paddle was this one. It was the, you know, the double um, pearl fish scale. That one by far went down just about every trip. I always run it first thing in the morning. Um, I usually got a, like a 35 inch lead on my flies. Yeah. That's usually what I put on there too, just about three lengths, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, deep, can't beat it for coho. I mean, unbelievable. Yep, that's but, a great one. I mean, I caught so many fish on this thing. I mean, my fly is all- I think mangled. It's just all beat to heck, you know. It looks like and, many of mine. You know, but I, I mean, <laughs> Just keep running them, guys. I mean, if they if they look like this, run them. Keep running them because there's a reason why this thing is working. Yep, I've had flies. I've said this on the channel many times. They're down to like there ain't threads. nothing left. Yeah, threads, <laughs> and they're still <laughs> wailing on the thing. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about is eight inch uh, eight inch paddles. Okay. Um, I will start from five down to one. Number five for me was the small mercury falling that is the eight inch mercury falling in the black that thing was really good for me on a high diver many many days number four your guys green jeans the new flip fin dream weaver green jeans that Very thing that, that thing with the julie bird fly was going hot and heavy for me for a long time great paddle right there number three kryptonite kryptonite yeah darn good one that one darn. was really good this year. Yep, darn good one. And I run all my fins up. I don't know about yep, you. Yep, I do too. Yeah, I do. Yep. Um, kryptonite, bang. Number two, another one you cannot go wrong with. You better have 20 of these in the boat. Double pearl. Yep. Double pearl flip fin, that thing with a riverside fly, pickled That's sunshine good, fly. Yep. Put it down, forget about it. It's going to live there for you. But by far my number one this year, UV Two-Face. UV flip fin two face from Dreamweaver. Yep. That thing was amazing. That was really good. Yep. Especially down deep. That thing took up residency on my high diver <laughs> all year long. Yep. Um, with that fly that you had on one of yours. That uh, the, ba -ba 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 -ba, genie fly? the genie fly. Yep. And That's I went right back here. and forth between the genie fly. That's a uh, can't think of the name of the company. Rapture. Right? Rapture fly, thank you. That mm -hmm. genie fly, pickled sunshine. Riverside Fly, I could put any one of those on there on that UV2 face, and it was going. All right, that is my five down to one. Scott, okay. you go for it while I grab my next section. Okay. Probably, let's see, going five down to... Or however many you got. I think I got four. Okay. So these are the four that I use pretty much all year long. Um, the Green Stud. That one was really good with me. I have a, a Last Supper fly, a Rapture Last Supper fly on this one. Worked very well. I mean, the fly almost matches the blade. Perfect. You know, I mean, that was one thing that I always, always like to do. I always try it first, is to try to match my fly to my blade. Um, but yeah, the, that one right there, I mean, it, it's, it was really good all year. Next one was... That's a green stud, right? Yes. Yeah, that is a good one. I Next one grabbed, was uh, I almost grabbed that one. Was the two face, like Chris said. Yeah. I mean, jeez, this thing was phenomenal all year <laughs> long, and I, you know, sorry guys, I got a custom fly on this one. Yeah. Um. That's what Scott does. Yeah, he comes I mean, in here and he dangles these things in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey, you ever seen these before? And I'm like, of course I haven't, because you just made it. Well, yeah, you know, and I, I make them for a couple other people too, but. Yeah, obviously um, not me though. It's one of these, it's one of those flies. It mimics uh, Rapture. Um, geez, I forgot uh, what that was. No CM. Yeah, it's like the No CM one, but it's, 
I can't remember. Oh, or, she I'll had think an of OCM. it. Yeah, yeah, I'll think of it here in a minute. But KRW also makes one called Tiny Bubbles. It really looks a lot like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters the thread color. Like on the Rapture, it's green. Um, this one I did in black because I was running it with the just the black dots. But yeah, I mean, you know, so, that one was really good this year. Shocking that we have some of the same. Yeah. Ones. <laughs> I mean, that two face blade, yeah, especially that's... down deep, because I mean, fishing was deep a oh, lot, a yeah. lot this year. Yep. That one was very well, very good. I'm just gonna put that in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. uh, another one for me was the green dot. The um, oh, crush with the green. Yep, this yeah. is the crush with the green dot. Um, you know, with the UV fin on them as usual. Uh, with the green crinkle, Howie green crinkle. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't just stick to Dreamweaver guys. You know, I mean, I work there. You know, but sometimes you find better products. That work for I certain say, things. I wouldn't say better, but they have their days. Yes, they yeah. have their days. Yeah. You know, and the, the Holly Green Crinkle has been around for long geez, time. long time. Yeah. Nobody can even get close to the color on these things. Yeah, that is a stupid I mean, it, fly. And it, that fly is just unbelievable. I, I agree with you, Scott. That is but a I good mean, fly. you know, and I don't mind giving Howie a shout out for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they're a competitor of ours, but, you know, they make good stuff. They make good stuff. They do. You know, and for us being charter captains, we have to use what works. We have to we use do. what catches fish. Yeah. If you, you came know. on my boat, you'd see 75% Dreamweaver. Yep. But that 25% of other, you know, a lot of Moonshine, yes. Howie, Rapture. Yeah, you're going to see uh, Diabolical Meat Rigs, yep. Yep. GRC Meat Rigs. Yeah. Yeah, we just use what works. Yeah. And that's all we can do. Yep. This one, guys, is one, sorry to say you can't get. <laughs> this was a prototype from last year. This was one of my first ones I ever made. Can I see that? You can. I'm going to hold it right up to the camera. Yeah. I mean, people can make yeah, their own stuff. Yeah, they can make yeah. their own. Yeah. Yep. And it's got, you know, it's got the pearl fish scale on it. And I put, I think I put UV clear over the top on the back. But, um, yeah, I mean, just a jerry green, light green hollow. That is, that's a good looking. With that genie fly. I mean, that, yep, that's that genie fly that I was just talking about. That thing has such a unique color to it. Yes. I mean, that thing's been one of my best ones for years. Yeah. For out for the two years we've had this i mean every every day it goes out can people get blanks if they wanted to make their own yeah i mean if you call us and say you know hey we want to order some blanks mm -hmm. we'll sell them to you okay i think we actually sold the 900 which would be the chrome one there you go you know so be the 76 900 that would be the that'd be that one so they could go to like warrior tape products if they want to get their yes. own tape yep get a few blanks wtp you. sells yeah. tape yep. um they saw all these tape cuts Yep. I mean, you know, you might have to do a little trimming, Got but... The fly buzz drop, I'm sorry. <laughs> should shower. I guess, you know. <laughs> you know. But, yes, this um, this was probably, has been my best for two years. Okay. So Now I got to get one. <laughs> I can make you one. I'll, you, I, good I, thing you know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah. I know a guy. But that's that's my paddles, guys. That's my small 8-inch paddles. Okay. Good, good selection. Um, and if you got any, like, other, like, honorable mentions... Feel free to throw some out there. That black slick, yeah. I usually run it when it when the water gets warm in the fall. That one with uh, um, it's another fly that I make. <laughs> it used to be made by Matt Strong, oh, uh, Strong cool. Flies. Yeah, uh, Silver Addiction Fly. I just make it with a different head. I was just I do. that's weird you say that because when I was in my boat earlier today getting all my stuff. I went down in one of my deepest sections I haven't been to in probably two years, and I found two of those silver addiction flies. Those are very good and flies. And I was pretty darn happy about it. Uh, Nate Wellman and on Whitehall. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's West Michigan Outfitters. I've heard the name before. Yeah, uh, guy's a phenomenal fisherman. Um, he he actually brought it to our attention the last two years that it had been his best fly. He okay. bought everything around the state that he could find. The silver, the silver addiction? The silver addiction. Yeah, the old strong version yes. that had the cap on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got two left. Yep. Nice I mean, stuff. this is an old strong fly rig right here. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, um, spinnies, spin doctors for me. And I didn't have one on the boat because I lost all of them. But I'm going to start off, and I don't see one. That's why I was looking around for I was trying to find it. The uh, the chrome killer. Hmm. I mean, it looks just like this one right here, except that instead of a white blade, it's a chrome blade. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Same thing. Same thing. Same exact thing. That's number five for me. That thing on meat rigs and flies is just lights out good. I run that thing all the time. Number four for me. 
the green Look at stud. <laughs> the green stud that he just had in the paddle. That green stud right there, brand new for you guys this year. Yep. Excellent, excellent spin doctor. Well done on that one. Uh, number three for me. Back into the two face. UV chrome two face. That thing. That thing on divers was always it was, out there. It was really good, yes. I, I start running these a lot more um, on the really bright sunny days. I start running these a lot more in my deeper coppers, too. Started doing that a little more this year than I had in the past. and had really good success with these really bright yes. um, these really bright blades on my deeper coppers. A little tip for you there. Number two for me. Can't go wrong with the UV Showtime. No, that is a very good blade. That is such a good blade. Hey, there's a fly on there. There you go. Um, not the kind of fly we Not the kind of fly that we usually run, no. <laughs> I'm always doing that. I probably came off my boat. Anyway, UV Showtime. Love that thing. Meat rigs, flies, you name it. Uh, and number one, could it be the double pearl? Could it be? Uh, the 10 inch double pearl for me was going great this year. Um, the, not the silver addiction fly, but the blue, the heck is that thing? Blue dynamite. The KRW blue dynamite. Love that thing on this thing this year, but you can't go wrong with it, really anything that you throw on there. Right, right. By far, number one for me for the last five years? Yeah. Six years? Yeah, seven probably years? me too. I don't know. Yeah, me too. What do you see that's missing? Uh, black slick. Black slick? <laughs> yeah. But what, what is the big one that is just not in my pile right now? Kevin's girlfriend. Kevin's girlfriend. But I, it is in my pile. I did not have a Kevin's <laughs> girlfriend year this year. I Early on, I did really good with it. Okay. Um, but I did, as of late, I didn't run it. I couldn't get it going. I once was, the once the fish got deep, everything was chrome for me, guys. Yeah. Um, you know, start out with white in the morning first thing. As soon as that sun came up, yeah. boom, go right to chrome. Yep. And you know, the fish keep on going. But isn't it funny how the last two three years I've crushed it on Kevin's girlfriend. This year, I, I and I'm not saying I didn't catch a fish out. We caught a few on it, but not like we had. Right. But you know what? I'm not going to be afraid to run it again next year. No. Uh -huh. Some day, some years you just have an off year. Yeah. A certain product that's really good. So You know what I mean? With as much green mm -hmm. as, I mean, if you look on this table, there's more green color here than anything. Mm -hmm. But not the blade. Mm -hmm. Everything is all either white or chrome. Yep. Or blue, with the case yep. of the Showtime. Yeah, true enough. But, um. All right, so those are my five spin doctors. What do you got there, my man? This will probably be my number five. I mean... I've had this blade a long time. There's all kinds of little nicks and scratches, and you can see the flies just mangled. Just horrible. But, yes, it's just what a regular pickled sunshine fly. I mean, I usually start out with something like this, or my mate will start out with something like that. Mm -hmm. He always does. Where, where do you normally go with that thing? I always put it on a diver. Yep. Always usually on a low diver yep. is where I always put it. My mate, he was kind of, you know, he didn't didn't really matter if it was high or low. I go a lot of highs on my, on yep. uh, more meat rigs on my lows. My highs are normally flash or fly, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'll flip them back around. I don't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. But um, Honey Bun Cat wanted us to do a <laughs> shout out for her dad. His name is Joseph Meadows. Joseph, hey, okay. your uh, your daughter, I'm going to guess that's your daughter. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be my I don't know. Sorry, right, um, right. Hey, there's a shout out for you. Thanks for being on the channel. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Please. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, probably my next one, and this is another one, guys. That sorry, <laughs> we saw one that's similar to it. It's a little bit different. Um, it would be like a color nineteen seven zero zero one nine. It's just a black. It's got green. Oh, that's a good one. It's got like a broken glass <sighs> looking colored, you know, taped color to it with a pearl back. That one with the pickled sunshine. That is a good one. I mean, geez, I'm, that went down for probably three or four weeks straight. On dark morning days, yes. overcast days, overcast, that yep. is one of my number one. I'm, yep. I'm sorry I forgot that one, actually. Yeah. That's how much I do like that one. But, I mean, that one right there, guys, is, is was really good for me. Yep. I'm going to actually show that to the camera if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. And that tape is tape we got. I want to say we got it off of eBay. Okay. Um... It's, it doesn't stick the best. I mean, it. yeah, it's one of those tapes. I mean, we get every all of our tapes from WTP. Very good manufacturer tape. Yeah. Um, they the sell all these tape cuts. I mean, everything we have, they sell. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that. I've always liked that kind of look to it. That is a good one. And, I mean, the fish seem to like it. Too. <laughs> Pardon me. So, that That's was my number four. Four. And probably my number... 
three was the Dragon Slayer. Old Green Dragon Slayer. I mean, <laughs> I was showing thing. Chris how beat up. <laughs> this thing has been on my boat for probably look at this thing three or four years. I mean, yep, <laughs> there's there's chrome missing off of it. I mean, <laughs> I have paddles that look that way too. But. I mean, you know, it's one of those blades that you get out if you're going to be in a tournament or if you're fishing for big fish or you want to just catch fish. This thing goes out, yeah. and it, you know I can usually get it to go. I run it with a Howie Green crinkle, you know, another one of those ones. I mean, that fly on here, I mean, has probably been on this thing for a couple of years. It's, no, really? Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> it, it's been on here a long time. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I couldn't tell. Scott. You know, but. Looks like you just took it out of the package. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> This one was probably just for an honorable mention. That kryptonite blade. Yeah. I mean, this was probably one of my best meat rigs. It mimics a. Uh, um, it's black one magic. of my. It's one of my made guys. Um, it's a black magic. It mimics the diabolical black magic is what it does. Yep. Which is an excellent. It's, meat it's rig. a very good meat rig. Yep. Been one of my best ones over the last couple of years. This yes. year wasn't. Well, we didn't have a real good meat. We bite didn't have a really year. good meat bite. Yeah. But the meat bites I did have was majority was on this one. That's a good one. You know, I mean, that was the majority of them. Yep. This one is another one, guys. I, this is another blade I've had for many years. I mean, live wire. I mean, this is when the fish are deep, when it's in August, I always run this blade and it always catches me fish. This is an old strong fly meat rig. It was called Pickle Mirage back in the day. I'm not sure if Matt still makes it. Wish he did, because um, that is a good one. That is a very good. I mean, it, you guys can get everything from Purple Taco. Purple Taco, yeah. Um, talk to Leroy; he can set you right up. Yep. Um, Leroy, if you're if you're on here, I didn't notice if I you were on here yet. yet. I'm hoping he is. But um, if you are, I mean, I can get you the recipe for this. It's it's pretty simple, but very good fly guys or meat rig. It was actually I think me and Paul started running it four or five years ago. Yeah. And I mean, oh, that's where I first saw it was on yeah. Paul's boat probably yeah. about four years ago. And it was one and of those ones. he quickly grabbed it and kind of shuffled it away. Yeah, I was like, ah, okay, yeah right. it was I one of those things we didn't we didn't tell anybody about it. Right. You know, it was one of those. But my number one, guys. <laughs> no way. Could it be? <laughs> the white slick, pickled sunshine. I mean, yeah. look at this blade, guys. That thing is. I love this thing. <laughs> it looks like an old yellowed newspaper. I mean, <laughs> the thing is that good. thing has been on, in the water on my boat for years. It looks like it's smoked for 20 years. Yeah. It's so yellow. <laughs> it's so yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's one of those blades. I mean, I always use it. It always works. Every time I use it, I retie the leaders. I, I, mean, <laughs> it's, I don't ever want to lose it. It's one of my lucky blades. Yep. I don't, you know. How do you feel when you lose one of those lucky blades? You almost cry. Oh, you do. I had one go off this year, and I just watched it float away right up the, with a king, you know, swimming away with it. And I, I almost cried. Okay. I seen one at the weir that actually had a spin doctor and fly. Oh yeah, I've heard quite a few it. people say that. And I mean, it you know, it looked like a Christmas tree when they're going up there. I mean, yeah. That's something. Yeah, quite a few people have said they've seen fish down at the weir of the dam. Yeah. Um, swimming through there with spoons, dinging yep. around, yep. And, and flashers cl crashing and through. And it's crazy how they get that far up and not get hooked on anything. All right. Uh, we're going to switch to flies. Okay. Flies for me. Number five. Oh, blue dynamite right there. I talked about that one earlier. That blue dynamite from KRW Flies. That thing was really good for me uh, early in the year. Early. It, yep. seemed, it seemed to taper off a little later on. I really like that thing usually, early in the year. Usually good early spring when mm -hmm. the water's cold. Yep. That's got a lot of good chrome in that yep. fly. Oh, number four, Julie Bird, another KRW. Julie Bird pretty much lived on that rotator right there for a long time this year. And put some nice fish in the boat. Number three for me, another KRW, the Aqua Gold Glow. Very that, good fly. That's a good fly. That's been around for a long time. That's been, yeah, probably one of their longest running ones for sure. But that is a great, great fly. That thing will go all year long for you yes. on about anything. Number two for me was a GRC fly this year. And Patrick Johan is actually on the channel tonight. I saw him. He runs GRC flies. This is one of his green crinkle flies. And you can see that thing's had some damage done to it as well. <laughs> One thing unique about Patrick's flies is he actually ties them in a double hook tournament style with a uh, treble 
and a single, and he actually has a e-chip in oh, here. Oh, nice. Yep. He has a little e-chip nice. in his flies. A little rattle in there, too. If I remember right, there's an e-chip here. I'm almost certain he said that there was. It sounds but, like it, yep. But, yep. There's a rattle in there's there. There's a rattle so, to it, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff over at GRC. They're coming along with some really nice stuff. That looks very nice, yeah. Yeah. That heard, good job. I'll trade you for something. <laughs> <laughs> Number one for me, um, the champion that you can't really knock off. You can't really, yeah. Pickled Sunshine or Riverside. Yep. Pickled Sunshine is fantastic. Riverside's fantastic. Yep. Either one you grab, you're going to do just fine with. So those are my top five flies for the year. What do you got, my friend? Well, you know. Could it be some of the most the similar the Similar, stuff? you know, the Howie Green Crinkle. That was, you know, that one's been really good for me. I wouldn't say it's my number five fly, probably my number two along with my pickled sunshine which is number one um the other one would be that genie fly but i was telling chris when i was on when i was coming here getting all my stuff i was like i run a lot of pickled sunshine it is on just about every <laughs> blade in my boat yep um but the genie fly especially this time of year it comes alive for me uh, there's another one that's called um, i should have put that out as an honorable mention actually the genie fly is really stupid good I mean, the other one that they have that is really good is called the Bullfrog, mm. and I made a version of that one, too. Um, that one's been very good, too. Uh, the other one would be the Last Supper Fly from Rapture. That is a blue-green, kind of a neat-looking fly, but it's kind of a, I mean, it's just a, it's just a unique-looking fly. But like I said, I always try to match my. That is unique. Yeah. That is really unique material on I, there. I'm pretty sure it's Bandaboo that he uses for that. Okay. Um, I'll say one thing about Because it's like a satin. They, yeah. It's almost like a satin stuff. It's almost like a material. Like yes. A cloth. Yep. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. And those flies hold up very well. I mean, Jeff from Rapture, he does very good. Uh, one mean, thing I'll say about Rapture is they do have some very unique flies. Illusion. Illusion. That was, that's, that's that the, fly. That's that fly. Yep. This from is earlier. This one right here. The illusion. That fly. is what that is. Is an illusion fly. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> <laughs> we're just all. We're yep. Just, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you know. You know. We just we just get to thinking. All of a sudden, it pops in your head. You right. Know? We shout out stuff. <laughs> Not that we have Tourette's or anything. We don't. No. We're just older. <laughs> yeah, we forget. That's it. That's yep. it. All right. That was mine. That's your tops. That's it. All right, meat rigs. I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to start off with an honorable mention. I'm going to actually show the whole rig. That's that thing that uh, you gave to me back in early August, yes, I think it was. Yes, yes, yep. That thing is a, that's that chrome Wonder, Bread, chrome Wonder Bread blade with a Wonder Bread Dreamweaver meat rig. Mm -hmm. For about a week there, we couldn't keep that thing in the water. That thing was just going off. Um, Love so it. <clears throat> that's going to be a great honorable mention right there. Number four for me. And this is the blade it was living on also. Purple Haze, 10 inch. This is a diabolical. Mm -hmm. um, and I forget the name of it, but I'll show it to you. It is a black meat head with a UV crush tape on it. And then the teasers are really, really unique. Um, almost like a UV crush on there as well. Mm -hmm. And Mark from uh, Diabolical, I apologize. I can't remember the name of this thing, but. Uh, that it, is very good. That is a good one. That dark, is a good one. Dark Days, yes. this thing was on yep. fire. Number three for me, another GRC product, and this is also the blade that it was on. 10 inch UV Showtime, Netminder mm -hmm. UV. And that is the GRC, if I remember the name of this right, I think it was Pearl Stud, okay. Pearl Glow maybe. Um, Looks like it's got little boy blue in it with some pearl. Yes, it, yeah, check that yep. thing out, it's gorgeous. Yep. Just gorgeous, um, but really good UV head on that thing. UV Little Boy Blue in the teasers himself, and that thing on that UV Showtime was amazing. And Patrick, if you're on here still, please chime in with what the name of that meat rig is. Number two for me was another GRC. That thing was really good that early. Nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Really good early, and then, eh, like all the other meat rigs, just kind of, mm -hmm. mm, yep. not so much later in the year. But that is the GRC Lime Juice. Uh, that is a That's a really good one. I, did. I like that. I like that color, that, that head, too. That's yeah, I do, good. too. You want it? No. Well, you sure? Yeah, okay, I got another one. If you got another one, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give it to you. All right, I appreciate You're gonna it. You're going to like it. No, that's a All good right. one. I appreciate it. I'll get you one of those hot hot rotators I have. Please. Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll trade it up. <laughs> you know you'll like that, me. Okay. I guarantee it. 
Number one, Pickle Sunshine. Yes. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the old Pickle Sunshine. That was mine, too. I mean, that was my number one, too. I mean, like I said, guys, I didn't run a whole lot of meat rigs. Those two are married yes. together. They will never separate. <laughs> no. They love each other very much. Um, they, they are just fantastic yes. together. Uh, double slick with that Pickled Sunshine. Can't beat it. You can't. It's got to be one of the best combinations yeah. for the last... I can't remember how many years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a long time. And every year they make babies and they have yes. more. Yes, <laughs> yes. We lose. I mean, it, it's crazy. <laughs> yep. It is crazy. Those are my meat rigs. Those are all, all good ones. Go ahead, well, sir. Like my meat rig here, you know, like we said, that was like the Diabolical Black Magic. Same one. I mean, you know, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't run a whole lot of meat, guys. Um, I had maybe 20 fish, maybe. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, I same, mean it, wasn't, it wasn't a lot. And everybody else I talked to was about the same way. Yep. It wasn't an anomaly. It was just one of those years. You know, I mean, this one, uh, like I said, the Pickled Mirage uh, from Strong I guess that Flies. is an anomaly if it is it one. It is, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say that right. Um, that one was probably my second one. Of course, number one, like Chris said, Pickled Sunshine. Pickled Sunshine. You know, with a white blade. I, I run it with a white, bla white slick, a black slick. And the white uh, pearl fish scale. Good choices. Them are, them are the ones that it stays on. Okay. Plugs. We're going to jump into that. All right. Number four. And I apologize, but these are now <laughs> permanently joined, apparently. I cannot seem to get these loose. <laughs> it take me two years. But it'll probably take a while. All of mine are ace highs except for one dream one weaver dream in there. Weaver, yeah. Number four for me. That. Pearl UV blue splatter back. That's Last awesome. two years has a great been great. Number three for me. I don't know the name of it. I call it the Skittles plug because everybody wants to taste the rainbow. <laughs> That's just my name for it. But that thing has been really good for coho too. Yeah. Really good. Number two, double glow, Dreamweaver. Always that thing is yep. always taking fish. Number one. The White Lightning, the Pearl UV White Lightning, also from Ace High. That thing for the last two years probably has been what most boats that I've talked to, their yep. number one plug. Yep. <clears throat> what you got, sir? I didn't run a whole lot of plugs either this, this year. I mean, the ones I run, they're the number three Silver Hordes. They're smaller, just a regular, <coughs> I think this is just a mother of Pearl. Uh, number three Silver Horde. And this one is called Out to Lunch. It's got a mother of pearl top on it. It's got a green, like a fish scale in it. It's just a unique looking plug. For that coho, is. it's been probably my best for the last couple of years. That does look really good. I'm surprised I, I mean, don't own that one. Uh, you want it? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Like I said, I bought everything that Great Lakes Tackle had. Thank you. You're sure. welcome. I mean, that'll work. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But I mean, you know, like. I was showing Chris earlier. I mean, the teeth marks that are on these things. <laughs> those coho just go crazy for those. I mean, it's just unbelievable how scratched coho. up. Yeah, that thing is. You know, demolished. I mean, that thing is. I'm surprised it doesn't leak. That's just your flat out mother of pearl. Yes. Yep. It doesn't glow or anything. No. Yeah. It just. It's just a flat out mother of pearl. Okay. And those are my. You know, probably the glow would be their Dreamweaver glow plug like you had. Mm -hmm. Probably a good honorable mention there. Do you run mostly number threes? I do. I run a lot of them small ones. Yeah. Um, that was something I did early on. Okay. Um, when I fished before even Paul. Yeah. I know um, Paul runs a lot of threes too, and I know yep. he made it for him he for got, a long time. He got that for me. I, I was wondering if that's the way um, that worked. Yeah, I mean, I always catch big fish on them too. That's, you know, that's one of the things. I mean, oh, yeah, just because you're running a small plug like this, guys, don't mean you're going to catch tiny fish. Absolutely. Some of our biggest fish that we've gotten... I mean, I've gotten several 30 pounders on these. I mean, it's just, it's, you know, that is a very good plug. Don't, don't overlook those number three, especially when the coho are here. Coho just love them. You run them on a 10 color, they're on that 50, 60 foot range. We always called that, you know, 53 foot, 53 foot down was a coho highway, is what we used to say. <laughs> you know, it didn't matter the temperature, those coho were always around. No, that you're 50, not kidding. No, you're not. That you're 53 not. to 60 foot range, or 50 to 60 I think foot. about it, my 250 coppers, yep. my 225s, my 10 colors, and my 300s are always taking coho. Yep. And that's right in that super highway. That, right there. I mean, it's, and it's been like that for years, ever since I can remember. Yeah. And you ask any old timer or, you know, like that, what they think about that, they're going to tell you the same thing. That's cool. Um, so, I mean, T.D. Schlau, Tim asked if uh, that one plug that I called the Skittles is called Lucky Charms. 
No, Lucky Charms is different. It is. Yeah. yeah. I, that one actually is green with uh, yellow. Yeah, green I can yellow, actually see one. Little sitting, lightning. I can see one right there. Um, no, that, that's the, that's the green lightning. There. Oh, that is a green lightning. Yeah. I don't see a Lucky Charm. No, but it's not the Lucky Charm. I forget what the heck it's called. It's like a super UV rainbow, maybe, or something along those lines. Yeah, it's like a UV. I think it's yeah. a UV Wonder Bread or, yeah. or Super Bread super or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but that thing is ridiculously good. And they Very do, good plug. They do like to taste the rainbow. Nice. All right. Spoons. Moonshine. Spoons. Oh, we'll boy. start with Moonshine. Okay. I know you run a lot of Moonshine. I do. Like I, I do. do. <clears throat> I don't know what order I want to go in here because they're all so dark. I know what my number one is. I gotta think here where I want to start. I'll go honorable mention to start. Wonder Bread UV or RV as yep, the RV. calls yep. it. That thing is always out someplace. Yep. Um, seven and eight color. That thing seemed to really go good for me this year for whatever reason. Two twenty five copper. Um, that's a good honorable mention. Their green slice also another great spoon. Moonshine green slice. That and that one is the like the medium size yes one. yeah yeah they have the standard the medium and then the mags yep. so but that one seemed to go pretty pretty good so those are my two it's got a nice bend mags. to it yeah a little custom fish <laughs> bend on that thing all right number five for me working my way on down number five is going to be the rv green knight very good spoon yeah it is i mean really these five you could put yes, any order you could you put any to. anywhere yeah and it, it would work They're, these are all really good spoons so just because i'm starting that as number five doesn't mean it is number five. Yeah. <laughs> number four, green jeans. Always in the good standard. One. That thing in the standard for me was working really good this year. Not in the mag. You got that right there, don't you? I got the mag, <coughs> the half yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. So the green jeans on a 300 copper was a great one for me this year. The RV raspberry carbon. Well, really, the RV and the regular raspberry yes. carbon. My okay. first mate ran that thing on his high diver every day seemed like every day and every day we got two or three bites on that thing i mean if you can go out and get a lure that you can catch two or three fish every trip on that's all you want you make sure you make sure you run it every day that's what you want yep but yeah that i mean, his teeth I mean that, that, that thing's that all thing. beat to heck yeah. yeah number two the yellow goober the yellow goby yep. i call it the yellow goober yep. but that thing on his out and down he ran that thing consistently on his out and down and it always took fit not always but you know what i mean that took green fit. one was really good for me also that was our number one on his side for moonshine um i ran a lot of super slims on my side mm -hmm. um he ran a lot of moonshine regulars yep that green goby on his side was another consistent fish whacker mm -hmm. all throughout the year so like i said guys gals you could take any of those five mix them around you're gonna yep. be just fine with any of them but that that's my list okay for moonshine Mine is really almost exactly <laughs> the same. Uh, the RV on the standard, Moonshine, RV Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. I mean, that one, it goes out every day. No it's one of those ones that go out every single day. But, Shocking. You, know, you got the mag, I got yep. the standard. Yep. Shocking. You know. That we would pick that same one. RV. Shocking. You know. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you know. But we, again, got, guys, guys, I'm telling you right. We did not no, compare notes. We didn't. We didn't all. do anything. You know. So I didn't tell him what I was bringing. He didn't nope. tell me what he was bringing. So, but yes, I mean, this was another spoon. It went out every day. I'm an eight or a ten color mm -hmm. for the longest time. I mean, it, it ain't caught fish. Thirteen color is really good on yes. that thing too. This is what I ran on my thirteen color. There you go. And that thing is, has got some. Oh, there's a fishy bend down oh there. Oh my god, that thing got just destroyed. Beat up. But it's got a quite an erratic action now for a moonshine spoon. It really, it really moves. We have a few, we have a few like that. You throw them in, they, and it went. Yeah, out. they just they dart, and I mean, but if you get a if you get one that actually gets custom bent like that by a fish, don't touch it. Do not bend it back. Don't touch it. Yep. Just keep running it the way it is. You guys will definitely catch fish. Well, It'll keep going. Yep. I mean, you're not gonna stop it. Don't touch it. So, but that's my three moonshines that were my top honorable mention. Those you know, of course, yeah. um, you know, I ran that green goby. Yep. I ran the, you know, that green knight. My mate ran that a lot. Um, the green jeans, just yep. the regular green jeans. Yep. And that's what I always ran it in too, was a standard size. Um, but yeah, I mean, those ones, those are my tops. Yeah. One thing I'll say on that, uh, this is kind of off topic, well, it's kind of on topic, but different topic. If you're not getting bit on your mags, 
downsize. Yep. Yep. Downsize down to that smaller size. And vice versa, if you're not getting bit on your smalls, upgrade or yep. upsize. And you know, run a run a spread, you know, kinda, you know, if if you're running three or four boards a side, mm -hmm. I always run like a, a two standards and a mag mm -hmm. until I see which one's working. Yeah. And then I'll switch out yep. to whatever it is. And the other thing I'll say is always check your bellies when you're yes. cleaning your fish. See how big yep. the alewives are. Yep. Match your match the hatch. Match the hatch. Yeah. If they're dinkies, yep. they're out the smalls. That's it. All right. Dreamweaver. I almost sang the song right there. I almost sang Dreamweaver. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. All right. Let me unmess these. I got quite a few. You do? Yeah. Because I, I couldn't decide. Oh, my God. This is live TV right here. <laughs> Spoons are all tangled up. Damn, look at the bend on that. Oh, my dad thinks a fish bend right there. <laughs> Spoons are all tangled up. I'm not ready. Look at that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That was one of the 30 pounders. Nice. All right. Um, I'll start with an honorable mention on these. And really, these, these two could be in the top five. Your new Fuzzy Bears, um, the half blue jeans and the half green jeans. Those things were on fire for us when you first gave them to me this year. Yep. Couldn't stop them. Yeah, look at that yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, this one, <coughs> same oh. thing. Yep. And I was, this was one of my first ones that I got that we made up. I mean, that thing is wrecked. Yeah, she smacked. You know, it, it's just plain wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I, part, I apologize. Um, I know somebody's going to ask because... I get people tell me all the time, they go on your website and these are out. Yes. How are you doing on stock? We got them all in there right now. Got them all? Yep. Okay. Earlier this week, we ended up uh, sending out emails to everybody that, and I don't know if anybody know, everybody knows this, on our website, if we're out of a certain item that you're looking for, can you can actually go on there and say, I'm looking for this, mm -hmm. notify me when it's back in stock. And we do. Oh, we'll nice. We'll notify you when you're back okay. in stock. Email? Email, yes. Nice. Yep. Um, but yes, we did a like an email blast to everybody that was missing, like the blue slice, green slice, orange slice. I think that was Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, I, saw, I think we I got saw, those in. I saw the sale come out also yep. saying, or not the sale, but I think that was last week. Yep. Email saying that you were back. And yep, we had those, yeah. and then I think we got these either Wednesday and Thursday, or I think we got the green jeans. Okay. Yep. So if you've been looking for these things, you have not been able to get them. I would suggest grab them now. Don't don't think to yourself, <laughs> oh, the season's over. I'm going to wait till spring. Guess what? That's what everybody's thinking. Yeah. And come springtime, they're going to be gone. They're going to be gone. Grab them now. We uh, still have, you know, a lot of shops that were out of them at the time. You got to get caught up. You on know, it. I mean, it was one of those things we could never paint enough to keep in yep. stock. So those are my two honorable mentions. So, like I said, the half blue and the half green jeans on the fuzzy bears. Those were great. Number, I don't know. What, what am I going to start here? I got six or so. I don't even know. You got a lot of them. There. I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to start here. Orange slice. That thing later in the year for me, uh, middle August to late August, going great um, around the pierhead. The one time we did fish pier, we took a nice king on that. It didn't matter where I seemed to run that. They seemed to really like that orange mm -hmm. slice. Right on the heels of that, and I'm going to put these two together because I'm not going to differentiate between the two. They were both great. Blue slice and green slice. Fuzzy bears. Made by Dreamweaver, but fuzzy bear style. Yep. Green slice and the blue slice. These are the last two I have, by the way. So I well, need. We do, do have more. I need to get more. Yeah, well, you know a guy. <laughs> I know, know a guy, and I appreciate you giving them to me when yes. you first made them. Yep. But I have since donated them <laughs> to other places. Yes, so yes. green slice, blue slice. I lost a few myself this year. Grab those up. This one <laughs> was just nuts for I don't know two three weeks. That's the that Shelly is, snack, Fuzzy that thing Bear. Is beat to hell. Look at the bend in that thing, and look at the top of it. The the kings out there would not leave that alone. Yeah, it seemed like we get a set out there, we wouldn't even get a board on it, and it was already just nice. pulling on that thing. I like I said, all of August that thing was going. From really the day you gave it to me, that thing was going. Yep, very good blade. <clears throat> Number two for me. Still can't go wrong with that nope, thing. Nope, nope. That's been another staple for years. The Super Slim Green Glow Frog with the white back. And those are also back in stock. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I love the spoon. I ran that thing consistently on a free slider on my out and down, my down rigger. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know what an out down is, corner down rigger. Um, yep. That thing consistently had bites. But number one by far for me, by far. I don't know by far. 
But Probably by far. I mean, I think you mentioned it every week. Dude, this thing took a ton of fish <laughs> all year. A bomb. Slim and Mag. Look at the bend in that thing. It is That's crazy. just destroyed. And that Slim, <laughs> seems like the Slim is actually a little stronger than the Mag. I could not, uh, I can't say enough good things about that spoon. And I know that's a design of yours, so yes. kudos to you. By far, though, my, I mean, look at the hooks, even. It's missing all the paint on the hooks. <laughs> that thing right there. My buddy Brian, who was another charter captain, fished me a couple times. He saw that thing going off. He just bought from you guys, I think, a dozen mags, a dozen yes, slims. I did see that, yeah. I actually <laughs> sent that order out. Yeah, that was yeah. him. I was like, he, wow, it's the name of this guy really likes the he A-bomb. Fished, he fished with me twice, and he, he was so impressed by how that thing caught fish, he put in that huge order. That was a big, that was a big order, yeah. Yeah, so that's my number one. And over, I'm going to tell you right now, for my year, that's my number one of 2022. Yes. That's my grand champion. What do you got, bud? All right, that's <laughs> what I got. Mine are, are very similar to his. Um, the green and blue slice were really good for me early on. Um, of course, I mean, you know, I had them a little bit longer than Chris did because, yeah, you know, we're one of those people that like to try our stuff out before we sell them. Glad you do. But, uh, you know, the half green jeans, I mean, that thing is, it's, it, it's got a little tweak to it as well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I would say that one's got a little bend to it. Yeah. Just right at the tip, though. I mean, look at the end oh, of yeah. that thing. Oh, you're not kidding. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah, <laughs> she got smacked. Yeah, I mean, it, I had one of them come in. It was wrapped around the fish's mouth. And sometimes it hit it that hard. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, oh, yeah. I think I had it on a diver. Might have had it a little bit too tight. <laughs> 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 and the customer's going... Was well, that rod supposed to do that? Yeah, oh boy! I love it when they do that. And you just hear that barely. You know, you barely hear that. Uh, uh, yep. uh, you know, going out. Oh, Shelly snack. Yep. Shelly snack. Another one. Same as Chris. You know. Yours looks better than mine, though. It does. It yeah. looks a little bit better. <laughs> mine is, um, mine is it has a heck of a chunk taken out of the glow on it. Yeah. But I mean, by far, you know, one of our best spoons of the year. Super slim green jeans. Yeah. That's one of those ones. I mean. You can't even see the hardly the black dot on it anymore because yeah. it's it's just not there. <laughs> you know? Fish took that with them. Yeah, that's a good spoon. You know, I mean, but that's it's been one of my staples for years, and it doesn't matter if you're running it in the springtime, in the fall. That's one of those all year round yep. go tos. Yep. I mean, it's always out. It, it goes out yeah. on my side at least on something. Five color, seven color, yes. eight color, ten color, then three hundred copper. Yep, they all work. It well. all works very well. Yeah. Now this one, guys. <laughs> You're gonna do it again, aren't you? It's one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of those ones that I made. You can actually buy this particular spoon, not in a super slim I'll though. Show it to them, though. But it's called a KC one. It's made by Stinger by Michigan Stinger. Uh, that's just one that, and that thing has just been great for me for the last couple of years. The I mean, old it, Jason Coslo special, right yes. there. Yeah, he's Jason's a good fisherman. I mean, he is a very good fisherman, and I mean. <coughs> That spoon there, I mean, it's got so many teeth marks in it. And that was our best spoon last weekend. I think oh. I had four of them out. I, had, I was catching King's Coals. Oh, nice. But, I mean, this is a spoon I'll run in the springtime. I'll run it. I'd really like to see that thing, too, offshore. You know, if we got That's, steel on yeah. the scum lines. Yep. I'd really like to see how that thing goes. I bet that thing would be a nice. Last year when I was fishing in October, that was my best spoon out there. Hmm. I mean, that thing's got a heck of a bend to yeah. it as well. Um, but the Kings were tearing it up. Steelhead love it. Coho love it. It was great. For now, us. now you're going to have to make it. You know that. I might. You know, and that's I, one of those ones no, I might make. I, I think you're going to have to. I think the. Uh, Everybody out there right now, if you want that spoon, call Dreamweaver, ask for Scott, and yeah. tell them it's how badly me, yeah. you want it. Yeah. Or even put it on the chat right now, please. Yeah. You just, guys, just throw 10 thumbs up if you want that spoon right now. If we get 10 thumbs up from everybody, Scott will make it. We'll you. make it, yeah. <laughs> guaranteed, not guaranteed. All you right, know, I so, mean, it, you know, it's just one of those things, guys. I mean, so is that your I want to be I want to be truthful. Yeah, that's my probably my number one spoon of the year. Okay, because I mean I I ran it all year long and that spoon is just phenomenal. Here come the thumbs up, by the way. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> yeah, here they come. Yeah, look so, at them. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're gonna have to. Uh, I think you're gonna have to make that spoon, amigo. <laughs> Chad, goodness, you know, good to see you. I I send out a lot of stuff to you, buddy. I mean. <laughs> 
Who's yeah. that? Chad Goodness. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I send is. out a lot of stuff for him. We all every have year. Mr. I mean, oh, he is he is dude, very look good. Look at these thumbs Man, up. look at them all. Man, I don't think you have a choice. I think now. I might have to maybe even put it in a giveaway, perhaps. Yeah, I, I, I you know, whoever's the lucky. <coughs> I, I didn't mention it earlier. I know Chris mentioned it last week. I am going to do a giveaway this year or this week, and it's going to be based on like our best combinations of our stuff. Whatever you want to come up with. Yeah, yeah. you know. I mean, of course, you're going to get a pickled sunshine because that was by no. far our best no, one, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thumbs up are still rolling. Yeah, I see that, you know. Thank you, everybody, for doing Thank that. you very much for that, guys. You know, I mean, um, we have so much new product coming out for Dreamweaver this year. I think I'm up to 12 spoons, I believe. Okay. Um, and we're expanding our Fuzzy Bear mag line. That... I'm excited about that because I really like those fuzzy bears. So it's going to come now in an A bomb. I could be excited. About We're going to do a half an A bomb because that's something that I could be excited about. We that. haven't done yet. Um, it's something I want to try first before. I'll, I'll actually, I actually have the prototypes and everything for them. Um, Thumbs up for stuff coming in, by the way. Hey. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to run that, or get that, get that spoon out. Yeah, channel. Thanks everybody for doing that. <laughs> Thank you guys. That shows uh, the support for Dreamweaver, yeah, right? For there. sure. Hey, you, what was your your grand champion of the year? If you had to pick one, like I said, mine is A bomb, Super Slim or Mag. Do you got uh, like the? My grand champion of the year was probably this blade right here. Uh, the old double. Oh my god, with that the old. Sunshine. I mean, <laughs> that. It caught fish every single trip. There's one. not a there's not a trip it didn't catch fish. Um, that's probably my grand champion right okay. there. I, I don't disagree with that at all. I mean, if I had to think back in like the last five years, if I had to pick a grand champion, it would be that. Yeah, <clears throat> it would be the double side. Yep. With a pickled sunshine or a riverside. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. But I just could not overlook. I that mean, one. yeah. I mean, I think you mentioned it every. I apologize. Pretty much every week, I think. Oh, it, I mean, you know, on your it, fishing reports. I, I want to explain this to you also. I'm not on here to sell you snake oil in any way. I'm not going to tell you that something's working just because Dreamweaver wants. We got too many of this spoon right here. Get rid of them, Chris. Yeah. I never ever do that, and, that and we don't I, ask anybody. To never do that ask stuff. me to do that. So anytime I mention something on this channel. It's the real deal. I'm not gonna sell. I'm not gonna put something on a fake hot board for you. I'm gonna tell you exactly what's working for me, and I'll be honest. And you know this. I will tell you when something's not working for me. If right. So, if something's garbage, I'm gonna tell you that. And yep. Perfect example. This is not garbage in nope. any way. But that Kevin's girlfriend just did not go for me this year. Yeah. Like I said early on, it did. Yeah. But. But I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it did just to get you guys to buy more of them. Right. There's no way. No. Nope. But that a bomb. I'm gonna tell yeah. you right now. <laughs> That you know what I mean? That was kind of the reason why I brought some of my custom colors on here. Yeah. Because they they are my best stuff. You know? And I, I you know, I want to be truthful with you guys as well. This is what I run mm -hmm. every day. This mm -hmm. is what I run. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, that's just part of our, our stuff. We're always looking for the next edge of what what's working. Hey, you know, I mean, we're always looking as charter captains. We're always putting piece of tape on where there right. hasn't been tape before right. or i mean that's the only way you come up with new colors and that's what we try to do this cat is like everything he wants to destroy me right now Man. i'm gonna put you right back down there buddy. <laughs> there you go oh he's looking at me like a piece of catnip but uh you know i mean that's like i said guys that's why i wanted to show you these colors you know not uh you know tease you guys in any way but look for a lot of colors coming out from Dreamweaver this year. I mean, there's sweet. I want to say there's at least six or eight new colors that we haven't even put out yet for rotators. I think there's twelve for spoons. Oh wow! Um, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, every time I I go to look at something, I'm like, man, we should make this, you know, or you and know. And know, we got a lot of people that. Let me know when you want me to come down there and dabble. I'll, I'll make you up something. All right. right. You know, like really I said, good. you know, if you want to come down on a Saturday, we'll open up the tape room and you guys can go crazy. I'm in. I'm definitely <laughs> in. All right, so let's do this like we've done in the past. If you want into this giveaway, wait till this this video posts to YouTube. Don't do it right now. You will break the internet. We almost <laughs> did that one night. When I say that, I'm not joking. It crashed. Yeah. Don't do it now. Wait till this video posts to YouTube. 
All you have to do is you don't have to be first. You don't have to be last. Just post a comment. You can do it tomorrow. Um, post uh, what was your favorite thing that you saw tonight. Yep. Um, or maybe even your top three. Whatever it is for you, your top three. Let's do it that way. Post that comment. Um, like the video if you don't mind. I do appreciate that. And then next Sunday, I will pick a random comment out of all the comments, and that person, uh, Scott, will send it to. Yep. Whatever you come up with. And like I said, you know, I made... I did that in the last one, the last giveaway. Yeah. I ended up putting uh, a couple of custom, um, I think I put a custom meat rig in there, I believe. Mm. And um, You did, I remember that. That was cool. And, uh, and there I, was actually... know, I, I can't remember what else I put in there, but there was Take something else. Take the show else. for a second, Scott. I got to find right. something. All right, you do that. But, yes, um, thank you guys for all your support for Dreamweaver and Chris. I mean, means the world to us. Um, Chris is a great guy. We're proud to have him on our pro staff. I mean, he probably does the most for us than anybody. You know what I mean? He's he's always out there, Dreamweaver this, Dreamweaver that. And our sales, you know, always reflect that. I can always tell what he talks about <laughs> the night of his, his uh, fishing reports because the next day I come into work, you guys are buying it. I can't say thank you enough. I mean, it's awesome. You know, to see the support that you guys give to Chris and his channel, it's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate it. I heard everything you said and I was crying a little. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> you know. You made me cry No, No tear up. Thank you know, it's all good. It's all oh, good. Thank you for saying that. Though. I know? really do appreciate yeah. that. No, I mean, you know, we appreciate everything you do for us. Like I said, you're probably you're probably one of the guys that helps us the most. Oh, I'm happy especially to. with our sales and stuff. I mean, just the stuff that like Tangle Tackle gets from us now. I mean, their sales have gone have way really, up. really up for us. I was always, my mom always said, "Good people help good people." That's it. And I like helping good people. You guys are good people, so I we try to. All right, so I do have a couple other giveaways, but um, I'm not going to do them tonight. Okay. <coughs> I apologize. I got something going on in the back of my throat, but um, what I have. And I'll put this out on next Thursday's live stream. What I have, this thing is bad, you know what. It's a fish about this big, a salmon cut okay. out, made out of granite. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Oh, and I, was I bet just, you that is really it's good. It's here somewhere. I don't know where they put it. Um, actually, here's one like it right here. This is the actual mold that the guy made it out of. <clears throat> so you get an idea of the size of this thing. But it's made cut out of granite. Cut out of granite, and it's wow. just absolutely phenomenal. I bet you that thing's gorgeous. Yeah, and I, you think I could find it? No. <laughs> but I have that to give away, and I have another gift from another person that I want to give away. But I want to give them the credit that's due. Okay. Um, so I'm going to wait till Thursday for those two things. That okay. way we keep things a little separated because we're going to have a lot of people want this giveaway. Yeah. And that way on Thursday I can give the right name, the right phone number if people want to order those things because I know the guy sells them. Um, the only caveat to that thing is store pickup only. Okay. It weighs like 80 pounds. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to You couldn't ship that for very cheap. Pardon me. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that on Thursday. That's it. I mean, that's... that's yeah, it. I mean, that's... You know, if you guys got some questions, let's fire some questions Throw some us. questions out there. Also, I want to go back and say... Thanks for everybody that jumped on the Tangle Tackle Army tonight. If you're on the chat and you're seeing some of these people have a green name, it's because there is the option to join the Tangle Tackle Army right now. You start off as a private. The longer you stay on the Army, you advance up in rank. I do see your chats a little more, not a little, a lot more prevalently. prevalently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you're also going to get access to um, uh, members-only polls, members-only videos, members-only a lot of things. If you're interested in joining the Army, all you got to do is go down in the description of this video. There's a link right there. They'll take you right to it. You follow the steps and you're in. Slicky Mo wants to know, do you still have the Fub Wobbler on the boat? The Fub Wobbler? What I we got there? What, I don't know what a Fub Wobbler is. Hmm. Hmm. It must be a lure that I'm just not familiar with. Right. I, I don't I don't know what that one is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa Flanders saying, can't figure out how to join the Army. Um, so if you go to my homepage, this Tangle Tackle Fishing homepage, um, if you click on the icon, you'll see memberships right up there in the banners. You click on that, that should take you right there. A lot of, a lot of comments on, you know, you guys like Dreamweaver lures, uh, Tangle Tackle. Um, 
love watching you, of course. Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. I you appreciate know, that. You know, that's that's very, very appreciated. Oh, yeah. There's Patrick Forrester with a bunch of thumbs up. Brad Holt wants to know, is the GRC year-end sale still going on? That I don't know. If you go to grctrollingflies.com, you'll be able to find, uh, really, a lot of that, all the stuff that I showed you here, you'll be able to find that there. Teresa Flanders, you're very welcome. Uh, Slicky Mo says, that's an old school from Frankfurt. Oh. Know, the Fub Wobbler, so yeah. Okay. That's yeah, uh, it's above my pay grade. It I is, guess. yes. I've never heard of that. <laughs> huh. uh, I don't go up to Frankfurt much. Uh, I know they like a lot of black in the in the fall up there. Brad Shook said he just started salmon fishing three weeks ago and wow. just found the channel. Hey, welcome aboard. Yeah, Appreciate great. you being here, Brad. MPA, you had an interesting question. Um, and this is something actually we're supposed to do on our boats. Um, do you have a count on the number of each species of the fish your boats took. Yeah. Chinooks, coho, steelhead, lake trout, big salmon, and others. Yes, we do. That is something we have to do, a catch report. Yep. We'll do it every month. We do it every month. Yep. yep. And that's one thing we're actually required to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the DNR will come knock on your door if you don't put your catch report in. Yes, I've yes. I've heard of it happening. Uh, they send you a, a little nasty email. You know, <laughs> yeah, they, saying, hey, I haven't gotten where's one, our report? I, I know somebody that has. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody's saying that that candy stripe plug was called a red face, and I'm not sure on that because I know some of the Ace High plugs have red face yes. and some and don't. some of them don't. So typically there is a name, and then it says red yeah. face, and if it doesn't, it's yep. a non-red face. So I'm not sure. I wish there was one hanging on the board so I could grab it and tell you what the heck the I'm name is. I'm pretty was. sure it's like a Super UV Super Brad or it, something like that. It's, it's something, it's something like, like that. that. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Merrill says, thanks to both of us. He credits a lot of his success to both of us. Hugh, you're a good fisherman. I know you. Um, don't give me that garbage. I know you. You're better, <laughs> you're better than that, man. Yep, well, thanks. Yep. That's nice of you to say. Uh, suggested replacement single hook size for the standard Dreamweaver. Mm. Oh boy! Um, if I was to wager a guess, it'd probably be a number four. Yeah, be a four aught. I mean, Not yeah, four, it'd be like aught. a four aught. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it would be something pretty good size yeah. for that one. Oh, it would. We used to um, <clears throat> back in. Oh, let's see. It's been probably eight years ago now. We bought a company. And they had a lot of single hooks on theirs. Mm -hmm. I'll have to see what that is. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's probably a 4 aught. Yeah, I bet it's close to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Shane Trudell saying, awesome show. Chris and Scott, look forward to it every Sunday. Shane, thank you for being part of the Army as thank well. Thank you, Shane, yes. Patrick Forrester, uh, you made me a believer in the Bickhold Flash or the Pickled Sunshine. Awesome. Always on one of the one of the downriggers when the sun comes up. Yes. Absolutely. Very yeah. good. Very good. Thanks, Patrick. Also to you for being part of the army. I love seeing those little icons next to them. Yes. That's yeah. Just, that's that's pretty cool. Of, what's going to be cool is to watch people actually go up and yep, rank. Yep. Go up and rank. Yeah. I wonder if I should I should allow them to like boss the uh, the private. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Garbs, uh, great show. If you guys run squids behind the eight inch flashers, Man, what leader while. length? Um, I actually used to run them uh, with Paul. Um, it was the old silver horde ones with the mylar in them. Yeah. Um, Dreamweaver actually had some for a while. I know we still have some. I remember mid 2000s. Yeah. I was squids. Yeah. We but usually run them for coho. We don't run them a lot for kings anymore. Which I, I don't know why. That it would still probably work. still work. Yeah. Um, I mean that's one of the things I know they use. Is it out west? Oh and, yeah. Um, I know they use them a lot over yeah, there. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest yeah. runs a lot of squids. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Oh, Chad Goodness saying his number two was the bloody nose. Nice. Which bloody nose? Are you talking the plug or are you talking the spoon? Because either one is good. Right. <clears throat> and are you talking the bloody nose glow or the half bloody nose? Or the... Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of those. Derek Westby says, uh, what took more fish for us, the uh, <laughs> copper or the cat's head? Uh, what took more fish, copper or weighted steel? Um, Chad, what, or Derek, I'm sorry, what I'm going to do is I have... I have a video in my mind I'm going to produce here probably in the next couple of weeks going over because I started weighted steel this year and I still ran copper and I will go over what I thought on the whole thing here in about two or three weeks. So we'll wait on that one. <coughs> uh, Jason C. and saying the last fish for him on the season was 11 inch back coho with the pickled sunshine. Took a nice coho. Awesome. Where can uh, Todd Green, where can I buy lure tape? 
Warrior Tape Products, also Warrior known as products, WTP. Yep. Um, I think it's WarriorTapeProducts.com. Yes. Yeah. Or WTP.com, I think, is, is what it is. is yeah. yeah, I think it's WTP.com. Yeah, you can get yeah. anything you want. There. Or if you call up there, um, there's a lady named Jackie that answers the phone there. She's phenomenal to deal with. She's who I, yep. I contact, I talk to. Um, <laughs> the cat is right here, by the oh, way. There man. he is. <laughs> She's going to end up getting hooked here in a minute. <laughs> she, yeah, watch out there, little one. She's just got to see the fly. She likes the genie fly, too. She does, yeah. Yep. Oh, she picked that she's one right out, yeah. Try to chomp down on that. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. All right. That ain't going to turn out too well. I want you to get a hook in you, okay? Be careful. <laughs> one. Uh, Will Spencer's thing, he's still making his own flies. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yep. I'll tell you right now, that moldy lemon fly that I came out with this year for Purple Taco, that's a good fly. Um, if you haven't tied that one up yet, it's on their website, purpletacoflysupply.com. Jump on there and grab that thing. My mom's on here. Um, it says Chris's mom always gives good advice. <laughs> nice. You do, mom. Nice, I'll give you. Nice. you. There's been a couple of times maybe it was a little sketchy. But, <laughs> <laughs> nice. but thanks, mom. I appreciate that. Um, Lamar Erdman, what situations do you prefer a paddle or a spin doctor? Thanks for a great show. Mm. God, that's. Um, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I, just for me, I mean, if the fish are down deep, like most of the time this summer, they were they were deep. They were between eighty to a hundred foot down, pretty much mm -hmm. a lot of the oh, year. Yeah. Um, I think that's when the big paddles, the big back holes. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Your big eleven inch yes, uh, paddle. Oh yeah. Our big eleven inch paddles. I mean, when they're down deep like that, you need, you need something to, I guess, to form to see. It is so dark down there. I mean, we probably don't even know, yep. but. You need something big. That's when I usually run a paddle is when I'm fishing deep. I usually won't run them if it's above 70 feet Yeah, is what I usually don't. If I'm running a big paddle, I always, yeah. always have one down because I've always said this. Even if they're not biting that thing, it's bringing fish in. Yes. The big flash, the big turbulence yep. in the water, their, their lateral lines are picking that up. They're hearing it as well. They're feeling it, and yep. they're at least coming in. They might come in and look at it and go, not what I want, the cat. <laughs> <laughs> It might, it might not be the one I want, but then it peels off and it sees your yes. 300 copper. Yep. Or it sees your high diver. Yep. And then it's getting bit on there. There's um, many videos of guys that are running this those guy. cameras nowadays. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> They're running the cameras nowadays on their downriggers. I had a guy and just you donated a couple to me, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna you would it. be surprised of how many uh, fish actually come in and look at your spread and never Absolutely. hit your lure. Yeah, what's uh, my friend uh, Kyle? Kyle McQuillan. Kyle yes. McQuillan just did that. Yes. Oh, this cat. I love it. Um, <laughs> for me to answer the paddle versus spin doctor thing is I go with what's been working. Yes. So if I got a paddle that's really been on fire, I'm going to lean to that over a spin yep. doctor. If I got a spin doctor, vice versa. One of the things I know uh, a lot of guys did this year, um, and it might be because this year was so much of a spoon year, uh, they were running our new 8 inch paddle. That mm -hmm. thing you can run incredible speeds. Yeah. Uh, and I mean just incredible. Can you crank speeds. it right down. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I wasn't even aware of that. Uh, I know like Shane a couple different times. He was telling me he was running four mile an hour. Oh good lord. With it, and he and that was the only way he catch fish on him was running fast. Okay. Um, last week I was running three mile an hour, and my paddles were going. You know that's funny you say that because there was a couple of days I fished the point. Um, when the fish was really good down there, and I was running it like two eight to three zero, yeah. And what I was getting bit on was my highs and lows, and I had paddles on. Yeah. And that was all that was going. The spin doctors don't really shine too much when you get them up over about two seven two eight, yeah. give or take. They they kind of peter out. Yeah. But those paddles are good at any speed range. Seems like. Cool. I didn't um, even know that, Scott. But that's that's one of those things that you know, I mean. We tried it all different just to see what they look like. You want to drink out of your drink? I now? guess, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to like it. This but. poor cat's so lonely. Hey. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, Jason C. is saying a kitty photo bomb. Oh, Landon Freeman Outdoors uh, are asking can you make a tent color and send it to a different state like Wisconsin? If, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. if you call the shop, absolutely. We can ship anything you want. And I want to reiterate this, please, because I still get a lot of people that get confused on this. I don't work here. I don't. I, people just think I do because I'm here. Right, right. I don't own the shop, and I don't work here. I gladly represent the owner because he's a great friend of mine, but I do not work here. Um, 
I'll still help you out any way I can though if you need gear. What I'll give you the best or the best advice I can give is call the shop 231-887-4242. Talk to Ryan or talk to Bud. They'll get you set up. No worries. I think your wife wants you to bring it home. Bring it. Oh, the cat. Sorry, <laughs> on. Cat, yeah. No, I'm not bringing the cat. The cat loves it here. Yeah. Lo no, I'm serious. It loves yeah. the shop. You can open the doors. It'll go look out the door. It doesn't want to leave. Oh, nice. Loves it here. Nice. Uh, Vivid Mother of Pearl Stripes, Bob Hunter is saying on that plug. I got the internet detectives out there right now. Okay. They're tracking that plug down. I, that might be it, Bob. It might yeah. be the Vivid Mother of Pearl Stripe. Great. All right. Often you change presentations, <clears throat> lures on each line. Well, that depends on how. That was MPA, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Um, MPA it, has a lot of good questions. It, um, that is a good question. It depends on if you're getting bit or not. Yeah, I, I always, mean, really, but I always say this: if I'm not, if I got my number one stuff out there, I I'm, give it, I give it some time. But I'll also look at my speed yes. first. I'll look at my direction and yep. I'll look at my temp before I do anything. Yes, before and, I start changing stuff up, yeah. I'll, I'll do a lot of other things before that. Like you said, speed, yeah. change your direction a little bit, maybe do some zigzagging. Yeah. You know, and if zigzagging you're zigzagging good. like that, just don't do it around the pier heads. No, no, you don't. Yeah, <laughs> not around the pier heads. Not around a lot of boats. At least don't. You know. Um, but that zigzagging actually helps you know if you need to speed up or mm -hmm. slow down. Yep. If you're getting bit on your, you know, every time you turn, it's on your inside or your outside. You it'll, know what I mean? It'll correct the one side yes. that's wrong yep. and then correct the other side back and forth. You know, one th one thing about, you know, trolling guys is you always want to make sure your stuff is running pretty true. You know, you're always going to have one side that's pulling harder than another. You know, you always try to even it all as much as you can. Yeah. You know, I mean, and still be able to run. I and mean, there's, you know, but, you know, there's I, sometimes you can't do that. I preach that, too. Like, you know, get your, get your spread so it's running evenly. Your divers are pulling. But I get it. There's days you can't. You can't. You yeah. just can't. And you gotta, you got to understand that that side's going to be my side yes. today. And when I turn back around, it might be the other yep, side. Yeah, might be the other side. Or yep. I'm going to pick up gear, and I'm going to run back, and I'm going to go through there again. Yep. That's another option. But, yeah, there's days you just got to understand no matter what I do or how I try to do it, I'm not going to get it completely dialed in 100%. Be happy with what you get, though. Yeah. Brian Lane, do you make Fuzzy Bear <laughs> standard spoons? Um, not very many anymore. Um, we're, we kind of got away from the Fuzzy Bear line for a while. Uh, we're kind of bringing back the mag just because... I love that spoon. That mag is an unbelievable blank. Yeah, it is. It's um, it's light. It's more speed forgiving. Um I mean, we have caught fish on the Fuzzy Bear regulars this year, so maybe we will bring a couple of them back. I'd like to see it. I'd love but it. But most of everything that we're doing this year um, is going to be either in a Fuzzy Bear mag, an SS, or a DW. Yeah. We're not going to make it in a regular mag. Getting away from that a little more? I think we're going to just try to promote the Fuzzy Bear mag I, line a little bit more. If you gave me the um, option between a, a DW mag and a Fuzzy Bear mag, I'd take the Fuzzy yes. Bear all day. It's, it's more speed forgiving. Yep. It's a lighter spoon. Um, yeah. I mean, our mag works good when it's a little bit faster Fuzzy at 2.5, 2.6. Fuzzy Bear is overlooked way too often also because yes. you, have, you have color patterns on Fuzzy Bear that are not on right. your DWs. Yep. There's some. There's that flea for all. Yes. F-L-E-A for all. Yep. It's My, actually... Um, it's the name of a boat down in Grand Haven. My so, buddy Jim, um, yeah. my tournament, you know Jim. Yep, um, yep. Great guy, great fisherman. He turned me on that spoon, I don't know how long ago. And you can't get that in a DW, but no. we can get that in a Fuzzy Bear. We that used is, to. We used to make it in a DW, but it only a, lasted a couple years before we quit making it. That is such a good it. spoon, though. But there's so many spoons that are in Fuzzy Bear only that you yes. should probably be looking at more and more. Yep. Because there's some really good patterns. Um, somebody's asking, uh, how often do we run flies on eight inch spin doctor? All the time. All the time. Oh, all yes, the time. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Well, you, you see, most of my spin doctors here that I have are on eight inch. Yeah. Steve S is saying he loves these shows. Uh, he loves the shows that shows what the best tackle is. Well, thanks. That's Steve. great. That's yeah, great. That's you what know. we're here for. Yeah, you know, we love to help you out. You yeah. know, I mean, as much as as much as we can, anyways. All know. right, I think I think it's time to start winding it down. I think the kitty's out of juice. <laughs> I think uh, we're running out of juice. We're that, like an hour and a half in. I think that was a great, great uh, go through though on everything. Yes. Thanks for bringing everything. That oh you yeah, brought. no problem. I really enjoyed doing that, and I think next year it'll be 
new stuff too. Yes. Yeah. But you're still going to. But see you're a still going to see a lot of the same stuff, like the white slick. Yeah. You know, I mean, the pickled sunshine is going to be there no matter what we do. Uh, Jay Fogarty wanted to throw out though. Can't remember if he asked this question before, but how often do you bring up the glow spoons, flies, and paddles? Um, you're, I think you're talking about to recharge, Jay. Um, I, I believe that's what he's asking. Yeah, so I think the, so. Yeah. The glow stuff, you know, I hit them hard on the light before I send them down, and you know, first thing in the morning. I rarely bring them back up to recharge. No. Yeah. Usually and, once it once it starts getting light out, it I'm it, switching. Yeah, yeah, it really doesn't doesn't help you yep. anymore. Um, and honestly, some of these moonshine spoons, when I light them up in the morning, they're, I almost think they're too they're bright. too bright. Yes. I I will only. I mean, uh, some people grab that black light. Yeah. I hold them up to my spreader light on my boat. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. And, I, and I, I'm one of those guys that have a black light on the boat. Mm -hmm. It's just a flashlight, black light. I'll hit them with it, put them out. And I don't ever I bring them back in unless I'm changing it out. Yeah, yep, completely agree. But, you know, like you said, that moonshine glow, Boy, I think, is, is almost a little too bright. So bright. Yeah. Great, great question, though, Jay. Yeah, it's good, good to see you, Jay, as well. He fished me this last year. He's a great, nice. great guy nice. from, uh, from the Dakotas. All right, Mike Up saying great show. Let's wrap it up. We'll uh, we'll circle back here next Thursday. We'll uh, do those other giveaways again. If you want in on this mega haul from Scott, and again, show Dreamweaver some love, please go on their website, check out their gear, support the people that support this show. Uh, but if you want in on that giveaway, leave a comment down below. What were your favorite three things out of all that that we just showed? Leave that comment. We'll pick out a random comment next Sunday, and you'll send it out. Yep, I'll send it out to and you. And I know it'll be good. Too. Like I said, you know, I'll, I'll uh, probably include some other stuff. That, yeah, that's you know. cool. But uh, Pat Enos, uh, great to see you on here, buddy. I used to fish with Pat on Paul's boat. Yeah. Great guy. I haven't seen oh, him for a while. Oh, that's what you talking about. Um, no. Maybe no, that was the other. I'm, yeah, I, that I, was I, a different I guy. I Yep. All right. But, Pat, it was, it was always good fishing with you. Good to see you on the show. Thanks, thanks, guys, for everything. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Scott, my man. Thank you. Thank you. That was a blast. I yeah. enjoyed it. We'll do As this always. again sometime. As always. Thanks to Thank the, you guys for everything. Thanks to the cat. Yes, thanks. For <laughs> if, you, if you like the cat, like and subscribe. <laughs> right, right. More thumbs up for the kitty. Right. I'm going to Thanks, guys. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> crazy.